Hello everybody, it's Mrs. Stevens again. This week we're going to have a patriotic theme, which means all of the songs that I'm going to upload to my YouTube channel are going to be about America. So the one I'm going to do for you tonight is actually our country's national anthem, which is called the Star Spangled Banner. But before I sing it for you, I want to give you a little background story of where the song came from. So America was part of a war called the War of 1812. And about two years or so into the war, so 1814, the British soldiers were actually planning a surprise attack on America at a place called Fort McHenry, which is off the coast of Baltimore, Maryland. So the British soldiers were on their ships out in the ocean, but they were far enough back that the people of Fort McHenry couldn't see them and they didn't know they were planning a surprise attack. That's why it was a surprise. So in the meantime, Francis Scott Key, who was a lawyer who happened to live in Baltimore, Maryland, somehow found out that one of his good friends, a doctor, was being held prisoner on one of those British warships. So he really wanted to try to save his friend. So he got on a boat and sailed out into the ocean and got off of his boat and onto one of the British warships where his friend was being held prisoner. And he started trying to convince the British soldiers to let his friend go. He was telling them, hey, he's a doctor. He's a really great guy. Not only was he helping the wounded and the sick American soldiers, but he was also helping the wounded and sick British soldiers. He helped your own people. So will you please let him go? So after many hours of begging and arguing and pleading, the British soldiers finally said, okay, we'll let him go and we'll let you go too, but not until after our attack on Fort McHenry, because they knew if they let them go, before the attack, they would go warn the people at Fort McHenry, all the soldiers and their families that lived there, and they would be able to better protect themselves. So they, the British soldiers didn't want that to happen. So they made Francis Scott Key and his friends stay on their ship all night long while they surprise attacked Fort McHenry. And there was nothing that Francis Scott Key or his friend could do about it except watch. So all night long, they had to watch as the British ships moved closer. <clears throat> as soon as the sun set, the British ships moved a little bit closer to um, Fort McHenry and they started launching bombs and rockets and all of the stuff that they could at Fort McHenry to try to take over. And so the sun went down and it was dark and it was really hard to see. And the only way that Francis Scott Key knew if the Americans were still in control of Fort McHenry was if he could catch a glimpse of the American flag that was flying. But it was hard because it was dark and there was smoke. So the one way that made it easier for them to see was every time a rocket or a bomb would explode in the sky, it would light up the sky for just a few seconds, kind of like fireworks, and they could catch a glimpse of that flag and be reassured that America was still in control of Fort McHenry. So this lasted all night long, and they were so upset and helpless and didn't know what to do. And then morning came, and things started to calm down, and the bombs stopped. And the British ships even started to pull back a little bit. And so Francis Scott Key got up and kind of looked over the edge of the ship. And as the smoke was clearing and the sun was coming up in the morning, he was looking to see if he could still see that American flag. And sure enough, he could. So America had won that battle. They had not surrendered to the British. They did not let the British win that battle against them. And the American flag was still standing. And Francis Scott Key was so happy and so inspired by the sight of the flag that he started writing a poem. He actually took an envelope, an old envelope out of his back pocket and started writing a poem on it. And that poem became really famous. It got published in newspapers all over the country. And years and years later, our country finally adopted it as our official national anthem. So I'm gonna sing it for you now. If you know the words and you'd like to sing along, great. If you don't know the words, I will try to have them in the description of the video. And if you can't see them there, then you can find them on the internet and follow along. All right, here is the Star Spangled Banner. Stars. 
you would like to hear a professional vocalist sing the Star Spangled Banner, you can do a Google search for Whitney Houston's Star Spangled Banner at the Super Bowl. I don't remember what year it was off the top of my head, but she sang the Star Spangled Banner at a Super Bowl and it was beautiful. So if you do a Google search for that, I'm sure you will enjoy. All right, check back in another day or two and I'll have some more patriotic songs uploaded for you. Bye, have a good night.